as soon as you say RNA, I just think the home of golf. You know, it just brings back so many memories for me playing, obviously, GB9. It's obviously, you know, British Amateur Champion and stuff like that. There's just so many memories that come from just, you know, three letters. It just sparks so many good memories that I've had in the past. And that's it. Bradley Neal is the amateur champion. First hurdle is, is qualifying, and I think when there's 200 guys for 64 spots, it's, it's always pretty tough, so you want to get through the stroke play to start with, but you just had to dig in tough. Finals sometimes can be uh, an Addi sort of climax. Tension of the 36-hole final would start early. Michael Hoey and Ian Campbell on the tee shortly before 9 o'clock. Golf was scrappy, and we are both a few over par. Oh, and round the cup, almost all the way around, and that is a very good three indeed. Obviously, I think about Augusta a lot and the, and the Open. I wanted to win the tournament, and um, I just lucky came out on top. The champion is Howie. He's played some sterling golf all week. He's played plenty of it. He's the British amateur champion of 2001. It's just a really well-run week. It's it's run like a like a tour event, treated like you're a tour pro, and they do a great job with that event. Perfect. Once again, the fist bump. I putted well all week. That's one thing I do know is I had control of the putter, and and short game was immense as well. And obviously, the memory that I'll always keep is up and down from the bunker to to win on the the 35th hole. Done it. Congratulations, Scott Gregory. Especially for me being English, and the British Am is the one that you want to get your name on, and it's an honour to have my name on, on that trophy. It's been a massive part of my career so far, I guess. Featured in a lot of the amateur stuff, giving us a platform to, to play high level golf courses against exceptional quality fields. and threw into the pro game obviously with the open and stuff but amateur wise they're kind of the trailblazers I guess they they're setting setting us up to succeed when we come out here. You've got the British Amateur Championship I played Jack LeGlease obviously St Andrews Trophy as well there's just so many things that come from it I kind of lost for words when I try and describe how amazing I suppose the RNA has been for me even though not directly, but just in what they do for the whole game of golf has made a massive difference to my career. Tournaments are quite scarce at the moment. As huge an operation as the RNA are to get, you know, the association with European Tour Challenge Tour is, is massive for the event, but it's important for the young guys. It's less events, maybe less sponsorship from small businesses, so they need that to get them going. They need tournaments, and for the RNA to be involved really helps a lot of the younger guys so grateful for what they're doing throughout the whole game but more specifically what they're doing for the challenge tour this week and in the future is going to be incredible for us so if it wasn't for them we wouldn't be here and incredibly grateful that they've they, they've chipped in with their support and you know and helped us out